Hey y'all, hey. We are back with another reaction video. Fall in love with me. I introduced her to the game and let her thug with me. She be like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like it's do or die. She give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she said she fuck with me the long way. She said she gonna rub my back. I had a long day. She said, baby, I ain't gonna lead you down the wrong way. Okay, so, um... Since YouTube want to keep copyrighting everything and age restricting everything, I put a compilation together. Oh, my bad, y'all. Oh, I put a compilation together from DL Hughley page um, like I used to. Listen, for one, my head hurt. For two, when I put the compilation together and put it on my YouTube page like I normally do it, it distorted the whole three videos. Like, it looked horrible. So we're going to do things a little different. Okay, we're going to react to each one individually. So you might see a pause, a cut, whatever. But it's going to be a smooth transition. I got three videos for y'all. So it's about to get real. Um, they they probably going to trigger warning. Y'all know it's, it's about black folk. <laughs> it, it's definitely about black folk. So, um... Y'all gon' my bad, y'all. Damn. The trigger warning. Okay, I cuss. I get mad. I get loud. I get passionate. All that. So if you don't like that, go ahead and exit stage left, right, front, or back. Um, there's gonna be frequent pause, frequent pauses, because this is a reaction video. Hence, I'm going to react. Okay. So, and again, excuse any background noise. My neighbors, just my neighbors. Y'all know how this go. But the first one, um, so a lady, I found, again, all these videos came from a D.L. Hughley page. So a black woman asked a room full of Karens if they would trade places with black people. We're going to start with that one. Okay, so we're going to make sure I'm recording. Got to do that. Things a little different. Okay. Any of you would trade places with a black person in this society? Raise your hand. know the answer to that well it's yes or no how many of you would do it ma'am 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 very dark no, no i'm not talking about hispanic 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 Ma'am, just because you dated a Hispanic that's very dark, that ain't what she asked. Okay, that ain't got nothing to do with the question. The question is, would you trade places with black people or a black person? You dating a Hispanic ain't got shit to do with nothing. Okay, that ain't got shit to do with shit. <laughs> like, you being a stepmama to some mixed babies, minority babies, whatever the fuck, having babies having mixed babies that ain't the question okay so shut the fuck up the question is but i was gonna have children so i spent many years thinking of myself of having very dark skinned children ma'am and that's the exact face i got right there what i have i met a lot of hispanics in my life um and most of them that I've encountered, not saying it ain't none out there, are not very dark skinned, okay, like she's claiming. I don't give a damn <laughs> if you planned or saw yourself having very dark skinned mixed babies. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Trading places. You. 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 Trading places with a black person. Ignorance. Ignorance. The question is, how Again. many of you would be willing to trade places in this society with a black person? I think I would. Absolutely. 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 You the motherfucking okay. lie. Bitch, now you, know, now you know you are fucking lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. 
all of y'all are like it's all lies it's all lies no y'all wouldn't no 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 you are not gonna <laughs> you're not giving up your white karen status to be black like my good sis natalie say they want our rhythm but they don't want our blues ma'am when you have a moment I, I just want all white people to be black for 24 hours when you have a moment where you are literally racially profiled because you are black that moment right there gonna ruin your life and you gonna so quickly say i want to be white again i want to be waiting again. like that's exactly what's gonna happen you are going to want the complexion for your protection because i promise you being black in america is not what you want boo boo so stop the lies shut the fuck up that ain't what you want absolutely not it's just saying i don't see it yeah but you know how not, racist this country is degree that you do oh no you right? won't wait no. roll it roll it the fuck bike how not, racist this country not is. Not to the degree that you do. Oh, no, you right won't now. never. Roll it back some more. Okay. I'm not saying there's not racism. Absolutely not. It's just saying I don't see it. What world are you living in? What world? See, it's motherfuckers like that that's racist. If you don't see, I hate when people say I don't see color. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this is my opinion. Like I always say, it, opinions are like assholes. You got your opinion, I got my opinion. We got opinions, okay? This is my opinion, whether you like it or not, okay? Whether you hop in my comments and agree or disagree, it doesn't even fucking matter. Ma'am, where you, where you live? What country you live in? Are you here? Are you... I'm not surprised. She racist as fuck. Yeah, but you know how not, racist this country not is. Not to the degree that you do. Oh, no, you will like never it. know. Never. You know, in this country, we created the criminalization of black people. And, you. and when your skin is seen as a weapon, you're never unarmed. And that's why black boys and men and women are dying in the street with their hands up. Exactly. Period. Exactly. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Because be clear. You ain't got to be a young teenage black boy. You age don't matter. Gender don't matter. Only thing that matters is your skin color. Because I have been racially profiled. I have been mistreated by the police. I have had my knee and backs. I have been handcuffed. I have been to jail. All that. So none of that matters. It, you can't do it. You you don't know the struggle. You ain't gonna know the struggle. You don't want the struggle. So shut the fuck up. All y'all lying. The ones that said they would try play. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Stop it. Okay, we on to the next video. Okay, so this second video. This one gonna piss you off. <laughs> this one gonna piss you off because it pissed me off. To the highest level of festivity. But let me say now. A lot of y'all might be mad at me. Because I'm definitely about to play devil's advocate. Okay. I agree with both sides. I agree with both sides. And I'm going to explain why. But I wouldn't be me. If I didn't give my, fruit, my full true opinion on this. So we're going to go ahead and play this video. Recording. Bam. Sledge has reached thousands. Oh, no, Newly witness video of an altercation oh, between a Hamilton oh, County SRO God. and 18 year old uh, Eastridge uh. student Taurus Sledge has reached thousands. Newly released body cam footage from SRO Tyler McRae details more than one hour of the incident. Here you can see the SRO walking in with a school official and speaking with a gym coach. The coach says he is upset because Sledge wouldn't play kickball, but what? proceeded to play basketball. The coach says he confronted Sledge, tried to force the basketball out of the student's hands, and that's when Sledge, quote, bucked up. He won't talk to him, and he says, you're a racist. You probably you see are. Sledge. <laughs> you are. The way you said that, and this is Tennessee. <laughs> it's the savagery. It's the South. You probably are racist. And for those who don't know, it's our old school resource officer. You racist. Uh, volleyball? 
Because he didn't want to play volleyball, he wanted to play basketball? Do that motherfucker look like he want to play volleyball? I mean, come, I mean, for real. Really? We talking about gym class. Fail that nigga and keep going. <laughs> like, why is you doing all this? Speaking with the SRO and school official. Finally, when I come, come down from off the bleachers, you want to come at me aggressively. What happened to you? You supposed to be in the bleachers. Like, that's not how you talk to me. Things first escalate between Sledge and McCray when the SRO puts his hand on Sledge's shoulder. You got five seconds to get your what hands. What the f you going to do? The SRO then follows Sledge up to the bleachers and orders him to leave the gym. Sledge refuses to listen to the SRO's instruction and remains on the bleachers. Stand up and come with me. Stand up and come with me. Sledge rejects McCray's commands and the SRO makes contact with the student. Okay, pause right there. Here come the part where I got to play devil's advocate. Again, I'm on both sides because this video is going to get way worse and I do not agree with what the officer did. But let me say this. From somebody who used to work at a high school, that was damn 99, matter of fact, 100% minority, black and Mexicans. These kids, these kids, I'm about to say, I know because my son on the door. These kids, they're ruthless. <laughs> like, I'm not... I'm not going to lie to you, these kids are ruthless, and in the comments, when I looked at the comments, I saw some comments, especially from teachers, because y'all really don't understand what teachers and faculty have to deal with at these schools. When I tell y'all, I legit, legitimately, because I used to work with um, the culture team at Yes Prep, and I was a part of, like, basically in-school suspension, ISS, all that. When I tell y'all I had to chase a teenage boy around the whole school, he had fought the teacher, a student. I literally, every single day, he cut the fuck up. I had to chase him around the school. The only thing that saved his ass was the officer at the school was black. Shout out to Officer Jackson. The officer at the school was black. So while he handled him, he handled him in a way like, say, bruh, I'm not even finna do all that throwing around and all that that you about to see. He ain't do all that. But it was you, he had to manhandle that nigga. Because sometimes, especially with teen boys, they will get out of control. They will get out of control, disrespectful, all kind of shit. I'm sorry. It's wrong. It's fucked up. There was different ways to handle this. You did not have to call in the R the officer, the SRO, unless it's absolutely the fuck necessary. Like he was fighting or beating somebody's ass. That's the only time you have to do all that. But other than that, like, and and my mentees are are teenage boys that are in high school. Them motherfuckers is bad. They disrespectful as shit. But a lot of it, it's not even their fault. Like, I love my boys to death. And because I give them love and nurturing, but at the same time, I give them tough love and they know Miss Miranda don't play that, that's all they need. They just hanging with the wrong crowd, doing the wrong things. Because, again, a lot of our kids come from the juvenile probation department, which I feel like they don't even need to be in, but that's a whole other video. They literally are just hanging around the wrong people. They just need proper guidance. But, um, sir... Baby, just comply. <laughs> In this situation, just, just, just don't. Like I said, I got to play devil's advocate on this one only because I've been in this experience. I only speak on what I know. Y'all do not know what these teachers and this faculty go through at these schools. These kids, this generation is ruthless. They will whoop your ass with no problem. None. <laughs> they don't care how they talk to you. They don't care about none of that. But they had me fucked up when I was at the school. Because, baby, you play with me if you want to. I'm going to play with your ass right the fuck back. You got the wrong motherfucking one. You better take that attitude and them cussing and them swings and punches or whatever you trying to do somewhere else. Because I'm going to whoop your ass all up and down this hallway. Now, I ain't no officer and it's worse when it comes to an officer and a white officer because that's a whole nother thing. So, we're going to continue the video, but I did have to insert that part because these motherfuckers get... Raise your kids, right? Some of these motherfuckers are disrespectful. 
I'm sorry, I said what I said. The whole, the shit was unnecessary and stupid, but some of these motherfuckers are this fucking respectful. We think it's up to Jim. Like that, that ain't necessary. At this point, the SRO's camera falls to the None ground, and we see glimpses you, you of McCray dragging Sledge by the hair, similar oh, to what we saw shit. in the original video. The SRO grabs Sledge by the backpack strap, ordering him to take the bag off so he can place him in handcuffs. Oh. Sledge refuses and then calls his... That wasn't necessary. That that was not... Oh, my God, that was brutal. Again, I'm probably sounding like a, a walking oxymoron right now, or a sitting one, I should say. But disrespectful or not, that wasn't necessary. You didn't have to grab him like that. You literally, there's a difference. Like I said, there was a black officer at the school I worked at. There's a difference in grabbing a, a boy, like whether you hugging them or a headlock or whatever. Like say, say, bro, say, cuz, calm down now. Calm, calm down. There's a way you can handle it. That grabbing the neck and slinging him and all that, that was assault. That was complete and utterly assault. That is not how you handle that situation. And the only reason why you handle that situation like that is because that is a black teenage boy and you are a white officer. I have seen the difference. When I was in high school and when I was working at a school, I have seen the difference in the way that black cops handle kids in school and white cops handle kids in school. That motherfucker racist. That's a racist ass cop. That shit was way too fucking much. He didn't have to do all that. That was fucking assault. He, he didn't have to grab him, choke him, sling him, none of that. Father. What's up, you good? No, I'm not good. I literally just got thrown around by the police. McCray continues to order Sledge to take the bag off, and Sledge continues to refuse. Take the bag off. Sledge is unresponsive once Did he, he is sprayed. The SRO continues to ask him to take the bag. For what? Nigga, did you just pepper spray? You just pepper sprayed a fucking teenager? That he didn't put his hands on you. He was standing way over here. Why the fuck did you need to pepper spray him? See, that was some unnecessary bullshit. What that that wasn't fucking necessary. Why? Why did you have to do that? What what was your point? Bag off. You take the bag off, we'll get you That's decontaminated. Funny. That's all it is. Breathe. Moments later, Sledge's father shows up to the school so to find out exactly what happened. We then see another officer take Sledge and his father into a bathroom oh, and help Sledge to wash out, out his, his eyes from the pepper spray. Baby, you need Things some come down that significantly. Ain't gonna, that ain't, what the water gonna do? What the water gonna do? Don't try to fix it now. Don't don't try to don't try to fix it now. Do I feel like he should have let go of the fucking backpack? Yes, I do. Again, I understand. Whether you comply or not, we black, you're going to get assaulted, you're going to get shot, you're going to get handled, you're going to get hit, you're going to get beat the fuck up. I understand it don't matter whether you comply you because you can comply and die. But, baby, take the baby, take the backpack off. Just take the backpack off. <laughs> like, please, 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 let the backpack go. And Sledge is put in handcuffs and put in a police car. But for what? Now Sledge faces charges for disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and assault. The assault Chattanooga on who? clergy for justice is asking Hamilton oh. County Schools for immediate removal of SR. <laughs> assault on who though? He he didn't touch the officer. He never actually put his hands on the officer. He just didn't listen. And and cussed and did all that did all that shit. Like I said, disrespectful. He literally just sat there and didn't fucking listen. That boy was not coming out that backpack. Let me tell you, he was standing ten tones down. He said you had me fucked up. I'm like, get out this backpack. I'm not finna get up. I ain't gonna do none of that shit. But assault, really he shouldn't even go to jail at all. Get, give him suspension and going on. Over, uh, oh, because he didn't want to play volleyball? We don't play volleyball. Like, look at him. Like, okay, my sister got a scholarship for playing volleyball. But look at him. He, he want to play basketball. He want to be Jordan. Can you please? Like, why? None of this is necessary.
fail him or whatever you're going to do, send him to the side, send him to the principal's office, whatever you're going to do. But the need for you to call in the SRO just because he didn't want to play fucking volleyball and he wanted to play basketball instead is very unnecessary. He wasn't putting his hands on nobody. He wasn't fighting nobody. He wasn't doing none of that. When I was at a school, motherfucker don't listen, teacher want to get you out of class, we used to go get them out of class. Get out of class and come sit in ISS. It's that simple. Now, if you get the fighting and shit, that's a whole nother story. But it that ain't necessary. Why are you bringing him to jail? Again, the prison system. <laughs> the prison system. That's going to have to be a whole nother video when I get to breaking down the juvenile justice system and the effects that come with it. Take it from somebody who know I work with these kids all the time. Pro Tyler McRae. Leslie, thank you for that report. I'm just, I'm baffled. <laughs> I'm baffled. I, I, that was so unnecessary. That was so extra. You didn't have to do him like that. Like I said, kids are bad. Kids are disrespectful. They give teachers and faculty a hard time, but that shit was unnecessary. You took it way too fucking far. You took it way too fucking far. Because like I said, I have been in these situations before. It depends on the situation. If a teenager is fighting or being aggressive and there is a fear, that is a difference. And you have women or men that are faculty who are trained, because we had somebody in my school, who are trained to actually put their hands on a kid. They have to have a certification for that. If a fight is happening, there's someone there that's certified to break that up or put their hands on the kid if they have to without calling the SRO or officer. Me, I would have been like, bruh, I would have literally walked in that gym, say, cuz, let me tell you something. Because this is exactly how I used to handle my kids. And most of them, again, were boys. They were black boys. Say, bruh, what is you doing? Come here, let me talk to you. Because you playing in my face. Get get your ass in ISS and quit playing with me. Because now we got to have a discussion because you act like you wasn't raised right. And we're not going to act like that in school. I would have gave him the, the strongest talk ever. Because I don't need to put my hands on you unless I feel like you're getting real aggressive. I'm just going to use my mouth because I'm not playing with you. And they know Miss Miranda do not play because if I have to get in your ass, I'm going to dig in your ass. And that's going to be way worse than me putting your, putting my hands on you. That was just complete, completely and utter the fuck unnecessary. I d Next video. Okay. So this one, again, black teens, white cops. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of y'all. This is, this one right here just didn't have no fucking excuse. This, this is just stupid as shit. <laughs> like stupid as fucking shit. The, the boy in the video, they at Oakland, uh, I think it's Oakland University. And, well, you'll see the video. But it's happening at Oakland University. And, again, this is a black teenager or, you know, because he in college, I'm going to assume, 18, 19. He look a little young. So, black teenage boy, white officer. Need I say more? Okay, cool. So, we're going to get into this one. This shit here. He didn't do nothing. Why you doing it then? I'm saying, why you, I'm saying, he, he didn't put his audio. Let, let him go. Let him go. Why you grabbing him? I'm saying, why you grabbing him? Let him go. Let him go. See, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You ain't got to do all that. Look at, look at, you ain't got, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands up. You been grabbing him. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let, let's, let's run it, let's run it back. Let's run it back. We're going to run it back. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. I'm saying, why you, I'm saying, he, he didn't put his audio. Let, why let you holding his him. wrist like that? I'm saying, why you grabbing him? Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him, go. Let him get his Literally, hand. Literally, why are you about to break his hand off? Why well, you got to grab him like this, though? Hands up. You grabbing his wrist. His hands up. He didn't touch you. What? What's this for? Why is this necessary? He not touching you. Why why you got you about to break his goddamn hand off? Why are you doing all that? Unnecessary. 
So the officer seems to believe that he has a fake ID. He he's sitting there. The officer is saying, "Open your wallet." He's saying, "That's my only ID." I don't know how the rules work everywhere else, but in Texas, you are only allowed to carry one ID. You either got a driver's license or you got an identification card. You cannot carry both. You have to. I had to surrender my ID because you can only have one. Look at him. What a fuck he gonna get another ID for? How many IDs you think he got in there? What you think he making counterfeits? What is the point of this? This ain't even got no point. Sir, you just bored. <laughs> like, you literally just bored. You literally just ain't got shit to do. And he talking shit. He didn't remind me. Damn me. Bro, these kids remind me of what I was seeing. <laughs> and my ass went to jail for talking shit just like this. <laughs> because it's like, I don't want my my black teenagers because I want so much better for them. I don't want them to get this aggressive and cuss. But at the same time, y'all y'all giving us reasons, though. Y'all be pushing our buttons. That was me as a teenager, and it probably is to this day because what you got me is fucked up. It's, it's what you got me. You're not finna be grabbing on me, cuz. Like, the only reason why I'm going to comply when it comes to putting me in handcuffs and doing all that shit is because I don't want to get fucking hurt. That shit hurt. When you get handcuffed and arrested, that shit hurt like a motherfucker. I had three knees in my goddamn back and them handcuffs were so goddamn tight when I tell y'all I had cuts on my wrist for two weeks. I begged that officer to, to loosen them cuffs up. In the back of the police car, just hurting. The only reason why I'm going to comply when getting arrested and not fight back is because I don't want to hurt my goddamn self because you already hurting me enough. So you know what? Go ahead and have it. But the talking shit thing, I ain't gonna lie, I probably would. I I, I would tell my teens not to just because I want them to be better. <laughs> I want them to be better than me. But I probably would, and I did. I was that person. My mouth. I don't blame my. He has. His, he just showed his ID. He directed you. He has cards. He has cards. Cards. Them them debit cards, baby. They just debit cards. He ain't got but one ID in there. I like how he threw the cards on the floor instead of just giving them the white. It's always cards. It's always cards. What's my ID? What's my ID? Look at it. Doesn't matter. Look at my ID. Relax. Hey, I'm getting racist in profile because of man. This is crazy, man. No, hey, you can't it's tell him to relax. Leave names on the cards if y'all want to know my name, nigga. Because it's not fair. Nigga, my name's on my cards. And it's on my ID. Since you thought it was fake. They're not gonna no, stop a white boy like that. That's cool, bro. This shit is not cool. This is the third time in a row. Third day in a row. But, but I'm saying, why you gotta be so aggressive with him, though? Because if you, if you ain't. Have third day in a row? So you done done this. You done done this shit to this nigga two days already? Two times already? What the fuck? Third time a charm? Three days in a row? You really just ain't got shit to do. Now, at this point, you just fucking with him. At this point, baby, I file so many complaints, they will be sick of my ass. I will file so many complaints, so they would have to see them papers. Like I, he like he said, the video gonna go viral. So he gonna have backup. Baby, let me tell you, I, def, I would find every lawyer, every everybody I could find. The one thing about me is please do not play with me in such a capacity, whether you are officer, whether you a white person, whether you just a person in general, because I am lit. I got the mouth of a part of a just, I don't, I just got a mouth. <laughs> I can't even think of an analogy, but my mouth is big as hell, baby. I'm going to put you on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I'm going to call the crew. I am too big in the community of Houston for you not to get your ass handed the fuck 
to. I am literally going to cause a whole riot and rally outside of the police department. You got me fucked up. I got too much pool. I can't. I, I would, I would suit, like he said, he gonna sue the school. I'd sue the pants off some fucking body. But again, none of these officers are gonna be held accountable because that is the country and the world that we live in. Hmm? And that's the part that pisses me the fuck off. If you want no police officer, you want me doing that. I'm not real. I'm just saying. You want me doing that shit if you want no police officer. Basically, what he's saying is, if you want a cop, I'd beat your ass. No cap. <laughs> Tell me. Is he studying that? That's it is there, right? Can he get his ID though? I'm not playing. Can he get his ID? I'm not playing. I'm suing the fuck. I'm suing the fuck out this school and this whole gym and whoever want to stand behind him. Go ahead. I am. Thank you. Okay. That's right, but just be strategic about it though. Just be strategic about it. I'm trying to can and I just can't. I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> I'm so sick of this shit. I, I. And it just hurts me even more because I work with teenagers and I work with teenage boys. I mentor boys. I mentor girls too, but I mentor boys. I know a lot of people think that's weird with me being a woman, but I promise you it's not. For one, I, I think I'm a nigga in my in my heart. <laughs> in my heart, I'm a dude. And I can I can handle a teenage boy. Trust me. And they actually respect me more. Now I do have my times where I have to bring in men for certain situations because I can't relate to them as a woman, but trust me, it's possible. And so this hurts my heart so bad because I would, I would hate. And I just, I just say Aiden cause his name, that's, that's my mentee. Doesn't matter. I would hate for Aiden something like this to happen to him, which I know it already has. Baby, when I tell you, if I find out, all hell gonna break loose because what you're not gonna do is aggressively handle my baby like that. No, we're not doing that. We, we we gonna have to. We gotta protect our black youth. We we really do, especially our black boys. <laughs> we got to like, and it's a shame that they have to go through shit like this. It's a shame that we have to go through shit like this as minorities. I'm out done. I dad, I didn't got a headache. I already had a headache. Now my headache worse. But I had to go ahead and react to that. I saw it on D.L. Hughley page, and I was like, you know what? This the one. Let me go ahead and put these together. Again, like I said, they be copyrighting my shit. So, And they probably going to age restrict this because it's kids in it and because it's teens in it. YouTube be tripping. It's easy to put shit on social media like this, but YouTube going to probably age restrict my shit because I got kids in it, especially for that second video. So... That was my reaction. Um, again, that's my opinion. That's how I feel about these videos. I, I'm going to keep fighting as much as I can for our people because I, I can't take this shit. I can't take this shit. The bigger I get and the bigger my voice get, the more I'm going to fight. And if I got to use YouTube... I, I'm not a big social media person, but if, if I got to use every platform I possibly can, if I got to go around the schools talking, if I got to go around the jobs talking... Y'all not finna play with my kids. <laughs> like, whether you in TTM or not, y'all not finna play with my babies. On mamas, on period. And speaking of TTM, tomorrow, October 5th, 2022, my baby turns six years old. So what you can do is donate $6 for six years and join our six for six challenge. Okay? Information will be in the description on how you can donate. Happy birthday to my baby. I can't believe it's been six years. Lord have mercy. Oh, I've been doing this a long time. But again, until the next one, I will see y'all. Bye.